the Pope presided over the ordinary public consistory for the creation of five new cardinals. Upon entering St. Peter's Basilica, Pope Francis stopped to pray before the tomb of the first Pope, Peter. Then one of the new cardinals, Juan Jose Omeya, greeted Pope Francis on behalf of the cardinals. The Archbishop of Barcelona expressed the desire of these cardinals to become some of Pope Francis's closest collaborators. Non vogliamo essere una chiesa autoreferenziale. Vogliamo essere una chiesa pellegrina per le strade del mondo alla ricerca di tutti quanti, mescendo nei loro cuori il balsamo della letizia e della pace, asciugando le lacrime di tanti. Then a fragment of the gospel was read, and the Pope gave a brief homily in which he asked them to always be attentive to reality. La realtà sono gli innocenti che soffrono e muoiono per le guerre e il terrorismo. Sono le schiavitù che non cessano di negare la dignità anche nell'epoca dei diritti umani. La realtà è quella di campi profughi che a volte assomigliano più a un inferno che a un purgatorio. Pope Francis also reminded them that to be cardinals implies following Jesus Christ's example of service even more. Lui non vi ha chiamati a diventare principi nella Chiesa, a sedere alla sua destra o alla sua sinistra. Vi chiama a servire come Lui e con Lui. Pope Francis then pronounced the formula by which he created the five new cardinals. For their part, the new cardinals also recited the words by which they swear allegiance and obedience to the Pope. Credo in Deum Patrem Omnipotentem, Creatorem Celi et Terre, et in Jesum Christum Filium Eius Unicum, the first cardinal who received the Beretta from the Holy Father was the Archbishop of Bamako, Mali, Monsignor John Zerbo. The second was the Archbishop of Barcelona, Spain, Monsignor Juan Jose Omeya. Later Archbishop Anders Arborelius, Bishop of Stockholm, Sweden, went to receive his. Pope Francis then placed a Beretta on Monsignor Luis Marie Ling Mancani Kuhn of Laos. Finally, Cardinal Gregorio Rose Chavez of El Salvador, the first auxiliary bishop who has become a cardinal, knelt before Pope Francis. This ceremony concluded with a prayer to the Virgin Mary and the traditional procession which for this occasion allowed the new cardinals to walk in front of Pope Francis.